What's this guy doing? Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my way home. It's a little windy. Ah, yeah, I still got my sunburn on my neck. It's a little annoying. Hey, it looks like there's a train up there. See if we can get a little closer before it goes away. Woo! Tonight, just wanted to talk quickly about my pedals, my clipless pedals. I did another video not long ago about clipless pedals. Let's see here. I'll have to eat on the sidewalk. There's a train. Uh, my favorite clipless pedals are the Shimano XT. They're lightweight and they're very durable. So I like them a lot, 20 miles an hour. Feeling pretty good right now. Ready to go home. It's about 7.30 in the evening. Sun's going down. Sun's pretty low. So it's a little dangerous out here. 24 miles an hour. Let's keep following the train, why don't we? Let's go real slow here. There are cars and stuff around here. Woo! I don't know what's going on here. They got like pavement. At their, uh, the parking lot was partially cut there. Must have been a sewer pipe or something. Yep. The train's just about gone now. Here comes a caboose. Very loud. 20 miles an hour. Huh. Oh, my ears. Ah. All right, we're going to stop here in a moment. Talk about my pedals now that all the craziness has stopped. We'll go up here where I like to go a lot. Make a right. Whew. Feels nice out. It's, uh, I don't know, 85 degrees or something. So it actually feels a little cool right now. To me, at least. Whew. There's a guy parked up here. What's he doing? Oh. All right, I'm stop here in a moment. Nice summer day. Yeah, like I said, I did a video on the Shimano uh, A, oh, I don't know what they were, A600 or something. Stop by this telephone pole, why don't we? This telephone pole gets to be the center of attention in this video okay so here are my pedals the Shimano XT's Ugh, got some nasty stuff on that that one <laughs> anyway the double-sided mountain biking pedals uh, there we go I went through some grass I think back there a little bit They're double-sided mountain biking pedals which means you have a large platform Lots of surface area for you to sort of balance yourself before you get clipped in. Uh, they're made out of metal. There's no plastic on here. 
Another popular mountain biking pedal is called the Frog or Frogs or something by Speed Play. These are Shimano though. I don't like plastic. These are made on metal. They're heavy, although not so heavy compared to what you get. They're a little over 400 grams, which equals about, about a pound for the pair. A little under that, I think. Or maybe they are exactly one pound. Anyway, so if you looked at like my uh, bike specs, I weigh my bikes based on having pedals and all my accessories on my bike. So if I were to take these pedals off, all of a sudden my bike would weigh a pound less. Uh, this bike is my lightest bike. It's a single speed bike made out of steel and it weighs 19 pounds thereabouts. Pretty darn light uh, considering. I mean, it could be lighter, but I'm not made of money. Anyway, back to my pedals. Yeah, really nice pedals. Lightweight, solid uh, axle. It's not going to break on you. You can really uh, abuse it a lot. You install these without a pedal wrench. You actually install them using a Allen wrench on this side. Get a shot of that. Let's turn this around. Maybe get the sun on it a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that. Come down, crouching down. That you use a uh, Allen bolt, and that's how you screw these things on. Um, really nice, really nice pedals. I like them a lot. Um, yeah. So and I use them with uh, the Shimano S H. 56 I think it is cleats those are uh, multi-directional release cleats and by cleats I mean things I got on my shoe I don't think I can really show you without taking off my shoe and I don't feel like taking off my shoe <laughs> um, they're multi-release um, clipless system uh, with the cleats I can I can sort of twist my ankle outward which is the normal way you, you get off of a a uh, clipless pedal or I can twist it inward toward the frame you know if I'm maybe in a crash situation so I can uh, unclip which there are positives and negatives to that let's cut back through here um, so you know there are positives and negatives to that wow 15, 10 miles per hour yeah you really shouldn't go too fast through a <laughs> through a parking lot Everybody does, but you gotta be especially careful when you're a cyclist, right? Okay. So I need to go down there to the left. Probably can't see. I'm sort of up on a cliff right now. So it's a good, uh, it's a good drop down there. If I were to take a mountain bike and plow over that curb there, I'd be flying. I mean, I'd be ET or something. I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and go the safe way, go around this way. A lot of people are gone now, they're either home by now or they're commuting home. Since I live close to my workplace, I may still beat all these people home even though they're all gone already. Life's too short to... Uh, in my opinion, to commute so freaking far. Uh, I'd rather live just closer to my work. I do understand the, uh, the, um, the idea, you know, you don't want to live too close to work because you want to sort of separate work from play or the rest of your home life. So, I missed this, so I'm going to cut over here. Shouldn't do that, but sometimes we got to sort of break the rules a little, play it safest. Anyway, which way do I want to go? I'm going to go straight today. Sort of taking it easy. I, my last video I did was about sweating and bicycling. Right now I don't feel very sweaty, but like I said, it's not that hot today. Uh, one of the things I have to deal with though in doing these videos is I wear a chest mounted camera which has a bunch of straps to it so it's like uh, it's almost like wearing a vest so it compresses against my body and it can get pretty hot
That guy's walking his bike. What's up with that? And I'm watching this car. He's just sort of sitting there. Going real slow. It's hard to read people's minds. You just have to sort of... Having good reaction time is... That's a positive, you know? You want to have good reaction time in life. You save yourself from a... Uh, stop. Unclip. Foot down. Get up. That's the problem with clipless systems. They're not very... They're sort of, I don't know... People argue that they're sort of efficient. But in a commuting sort of a situation, clipless pedals aren't really that efficient. Unless, you know, you know how to track stand or you can... Uh, you know, clip in and clip out real easily, or you have good leg muscles to be able to deal with the extra strain of constantly clipping in and out, or uh, you don't have a lot of stops, or you can sort of really come to a crawl, which is what I do a lot of times. Stop here. They're just not that efficient. So I wouldn't really recommend them unless you just really like the feel of being attached to your bicycle. Let's see. Going into Hanley Industrial Court to the left. Oh, U-turn. You guy did a U-turn. Any moment now, before all the traffic comes again. There we go. Yeah, see, I clipped in on the first shot there. That's what I like a lot about double-sided pedals. You know, it's easy to clip in. Slowing. Going. Slowing and going, slowing and going. Guy sitting here, the stop sign. What's this guy doing? Doesn't know where he's going. I'm gonna cut over here. Yeah. Don't park or stop at a stop sign. It's not what they're for, even though they are sort of stupid, especially for cyclists. But stopping at a stop sign like that and not moving, that's it's not right. If I was a car, you know, he probably would have moved. But that's just what us cyclists have to put up with. It's like, you're st it's still a, a human being, you know. You have a human being in a car, a human being on a bike, it's still a human being. So it's just a total lack of respect for humans in general, is the way I look at it. Not a lack of respect for cyclists, just a lack of respect for humans. The only reason why some motorist or whatever might respect you on the road is because of your size. You know, if you're driving a big truck or something, it's just sad but true. Some people don't respect anybody though, so it doesn't really matter. But uh you know, that's why you don't want to take things like that personally. You know. And as a cyclist, you know, on the road, we are sort of the most vulnerable. So we need to sort of, you know, direct traffic like a, a police officer. Uh, we need to sort of be very aware of what's going on. Because we're a lot more vulnerable. Just like uh, a walker or a pedestrian, I should say, and a cyclist on a trail. Pedestrians are the weak links, and they got to be very aware because um, you can get really hurt if a cyclist hits you. You know, possibly you could get hurt just as much. All right. 
we're gonna have to sort of go through here and uh, especially dogs and leashes those are deadly 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 you don't want to hit a leash same goes for kids on leashes ain't that a funny thing parents who put their kids on leashes <laughs> oh, you don't want to hit one of those things it really hurt you'd definitely be flying over the handlebars if you hit something like that not fun at all Oh, which way are we going? Going this way. I feel really good. Need to go get some dinner though. Thanks for coming along with me <clears throat> on this ride. I sort of just wanted to, you know, show my other pedals to you. I also actually own a Shimano M530. They're more affordable for the masses, I think, pedals. You know, they're like maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks, 20 bucks cheaper. Uh, they weigh a bit heavier. Not a lot, though. And they're just as good, I think. I got them on my other two bikes. Uh, and I like them a lot. Same deal, big platforms, double-sided, easy to clip in, Shimano. Uh, Shimano pedals. I'm just a fan of Shimano because that's what I sort of started with and it's very hard to switch to another clipless type of system if you don't know what I'm talking about. They got other systems that have different cleats that may even require different shoes. So a lot of them are compatible nowadays though but you know like I said speed play, there's also look, there's time, there's crank brothers, there's go there's um eh, shoot there's a lot of other different systems i know uh yeah, there's probably about a dozen different clipless systems most popular being though uh probably uh shimano speed play and crank brothers uh on more high performance bikes and racers you know that's when you start getting into the more fancy stuff like look and uh other brands, I think. Basically all the stuff made out of carbon fiber plastics. Anyway, thanks for coming along. It's a nice sort of cool day. I mean, it's warm, but not as, not super duper hot right now, thankfully. See you next time.